Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon. I am going to take you through a little tutorial today using my brand new action sets, Blessings and Moxie. And I'm going to just uh, show you an example of how I might process a picture using a couple of actions from those sets. They are available at paintthemoon.net and I am going to use a little action called Heist to begin with and in both of these sets you will find there are two different versions of the main actions so you see here I have heist two times and if you hover over it you can see which is which and the there the difference is is there is one that will give you a ton of different layers for ultimate adjustability so you can tweak them to your heart's content at the end and then for people who don't want to to have all that adjustments who want something a little bit more simple uh, we have a simple version and that is the teal colored one. There's the, the yellow color and the teal color and the teal color is a simple and if you hover over them here you'll see that your title comes up um, and it's uh, this one is PTM Heist 2 and then this is just the, the regular original Heist and that one's the one that gives you all the different layers to work with. We're going to run that one and it says to run it on a high resolution image for this action and it's going to do its work. It's going to create all these wonderful layers for you to work with if you want to. If you don't want to, you can just leave them as is. But if you want to go in and customize it to your style, change it for the image, maybe it, uh, your image is a little dark, you want to lighten it up, you can change the brighten layer, turn that uh, the opacity on that up. Uh, if it's uh, too warm, you can choose the warmth layer and turn that off. And you can click the eyeball here to turn it a layer off. Or you can change your opacity here. And uh, this one looks pretty good to me the way it is. I don't think there's a whole lot of tweaking that I need to do. The um, overall effect's a little bit strong. So I'm going to click on the main layer there, Heist, and bring that down a little bit to about... 50% approximately and uh, that looks pretty good I'm gonna run one more after this so I am going to just right click over here and go down to flatten image and it's gonna merge all those layers together for me and the second one heist is from the action set uh, blessings I am gonna run a second action on that called candy shop and this is a really fun one uh, this is in the moxie set and this gives you a whole bunch of different types of layers, all different fun colors, pops, hazes, uh, what have you. You can create your own recipe here and just have fun with it. For this particular image, I'm going to run, uh, turn on the vintage denim haze layer. It gives it a nice vintagey look. And I am going to give it a little bit of a sunny yellow pop. And then there's a bleach pop overlay up on top here. I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to turn it up. And that's just going to cut through some of that haze and give it a little bit more crisp look. So there's that. And if we go down to our background layer, you can always do this when you're playing with adjustment layers and actions. If you want to see how your original background layer looks without the, all these layers up on top of it that the action created, you can hold down your option for Mac Alt for a PC key and click on the eyeball and it'll hide all the other layers except for your background layer. So that's what it looked like before Candy Shop and that's what it looks like after. Uh, and I'm going to flatten that. I'm going to actually, I'm going to go back to my original image here, revert that. That's what my before looks like before we ran anything. And I'm going to show you the simplified version of Heist. So you're going to click on that one and it is going to end up giving you a grouped set of layers that you cannot work with in elements unfortunately unless you have some special software to open that up but this is going to give you a more simplified version of the action so you can go in and if you want to adjust this entire group of layers you can adjust the entire group of layers at once so there is before and there's after at 100 percent we're going to take it down to 75 percent and flatten and then you can choose to run another action on top of that if you wish if you want to 
run one of the act original actions that have all the layers in there so you can tweak it however you want. And at the end, you want to, let me show you what I'm talking about here. At the end, you would like to be able to adjust all those layers at once after you've adjusted some of them. So say we're running Heist now again. And at the end of it, say um, it's much too bright for you. So you want to turn off the brighten layer on that. So you turn off the brighten layer and it looks better to you. Um, not It doesn't for this particular image, but, but just pretend. Um, so we turn off the brighten layer and um, then we're done with it. We like the way it looks, but we think overall we want to tone down the whole thing, the whole action. You can click on background and then hit command or control, command on a Mac, control on a PC, and J, and it's going to create this layer here, which is the background copy. And you're just going to take your shift key, hold down your shift key, go all the way up to the very top layer, and click, and then you're going to, again, take your command or your control key and hit the letter E. So command or control E, and it's just going to merge all those together and so what I, and you can double click on this here and change this to your action name heist or what and so now we have uh, this one layer called whatever we have named it heist uh, name of your action and we can adjust the opacity on the entire layer layer so we can take the entire actions effects and and adjust them as we want as as one swoop adjustment so that's before and then that's after at 100 percent really strong so we take it down you know to say 75 percent and so that is just a little sampling of uh, blessings and moxie let me do one more just for the fun of it here and delete that and start over and let's do a black and white one of my favorites is grace from blessings run this Pretty and very highly adjustable as all my actions are. Action, you see, you have a lot of different stuff to play with in here. You can turn on, there's a chocolate sauce layer to give it kind of a brown tone. You can turn that up to get a, a more creamy brown going throughout the entire image. We have a vignette that you can turn on or off as you wish. Uh, denim, which gives it kind of a, a vintagey look. Um, a lot of different adjustment layers that you can play with uh, if you're if it needs to be darkened or lightened. We, I include those in almost every one of my actions is to make it like lighter, make it darker action. Contrast and what have you. This has a clarity sharpen and there's um, a, quite a few of the actions have a recover a highlights layer at the end. So if your highlights uh, became blown out, you can turn that. Um, either on if it's not on already or you can just turn it up and it'll save those highlights from being too blown out. Uh, a lot of them also have, this one doesn't, but some of the actions also have a unmuddy the shadows uh, layer that will bring out the details in the shadows if, if some of those pop layers have made the shadows a little bit too dark. So there's just a lot of different things that you can do with these actions to really fine-tune them to your own style, fine-tune them to your individual images, uh, lots of fun, lots of different looks. And so that is where we are today. I am going to continue with this image in a different tutorial video and show you my textures rock action set and how easy they can make applying textures to your images. So that is next and you can find all these actions at paintthemoon.net backslash blog. And also take a look at our Facebook page at facebook.com backslash paint the moon photography. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.